In tonight's state of addiction, nearly $10 million will soon be available to help Vermont in its continuing uh, efforts to battle the opioid epidemic. Senator Pat Leahy made the announcement today. And NBC5's Zuri Hoffman was there too and joins us live from South Burlington with details. Zuri? Well, Stu, this grant is in addition to all of the work being done in Vermont to combat opioid use. Does the risk posed by opioids knows no bounds? A death in a community of 400 people is the same as a death in a community of 40,000 people. Senator Leahy, alongside Health Commissioner Mark Levine, announcing a $9.5 million grant Vermont received from the CDC as a response to the state's opioid-related overdoses. Americans are more likely to die of an opioid overdose than die in a car accident. Vermont recorded 110 opioid-related deaths in 2018, which was up from the year before. Senator Leahy wants that number as low as possible, using the grant money to invest in surveillance strategies such as overdose data and social autopsy. And collecting and sharing such information, but doing it in real time, can result in critical public warnings. When one community may be experiencing a high lethal strain of fentanyl. The grant money will focus on data and prevention strategies. And although the effort will be felt statewide on the prevention side, most of the funding will go to four counties, Bennington County, Rutland County, Wyndham County, and Windsor County, with data showing more rural areas have been highly impacted. Well, it's the isolation issue, um, the lack of comprehensive services, the transportation to get the services. Those are big issues that rural folks deal with. That is why the grant aims to bring those services to them. And Gary DeCarlos with the Turning Point Center thinks this is a step in the right direction. I just appreciate that our congressional delegation is doing everything they can to, to wrestle this monster to the ground. Now, Senator Leahy said that this had bipartisan support, and he really hopes that this will make an impact in efforts to end this crisis. We're live in South Burlington, Zuri Hoffman, NBC5 News.